Good morning, sister and brother in Christ. Welcome to this online English service organized by GKI Gading Indah, Jakarta, Indonesia. Your presence enriches us in this time of celebration together. Today we are celebrating the reign of Christ with a full worship service. This is an ongoing service held to avoid the COVID-19. We welcome your suggestion about this program. Please send your comments to this email address, tugkigi at gmail.com. Come into God's presence with singing. Worship the Holy One with gladness. God of love and light, we come as witnesses of your glory and faithfulness, amazed to discover your transformative love. Be with us and awaken with us the call to love one another in the way it was made real through Jesus the Christ. Amen. Say 
we walk through life confident, strong, boasting of all our achievements. But God sees the hurts we have inflicted on others. Let us come to God, for the one who listens to our faltering words is the one who gives us the word filled with grace and mercy. Let us pray. Forgive us when we stand in disbelief and comfort us when our fears outweigh your peace. God, forgive us when we become too busy to pray. Help us when we fail to see our neighbors in need. Forgive us, merciful God, for not noticing your mercy when we have so much. Forgive us for watching out more for ourselves than keeping an eye on families who suffer. Amen. Despite our foolishness and poor choices, our God remains faithful in this and every moment. Thanks be to God. God's hope never fail us. God's grace continues to fill our emptiness. And God's mercy continues to make us new. We are forgiven. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us pray. Most High God, Majestic and Almighty, our beginning and our end, rule in our hearts and guide us by your word to be faithful in our daily actions, worshiping the one who comes as Savior and Sovereign and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. The scripture reading is from John chapter 18, verse 33 until 37. John chapter 18, verse 33 until 37. Then Pilate entered the hard quarters again, summoned Jesus and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own? Or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate Ask him, So, you are a king. 
Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Sisters and brothers, in the liturgy, there is what is called the liturgical year. This year starts from the first week of Advent, then goes in a cycle about the birth, death, resurrection, ascension of the Lord Christ to heaven, then the teachings and miracles that Jesus performed. All of these stories are in a series of weekly worship cycles, ending on a Sunday known as Christ the King Sunday. That is what we are celebrating now. By living the liturgical year, then, in every worship from week to week, we live the confession that culminates in Jesus Christ is the King. Jesus Christ is a King who is willing to come into the world to save the world. The King who reigns over the heavens and the earth. The King who reigns over the lives of His people. Sisters and brothers, of course, you know the abbreviation term I N R I or INRI like this. Usually we see these letters above the cross. The word stands for Jesus Nazarenus Rex Euderium from Latin Latin language meaning Jesus the Nazarene king of the Jews. On the cross, where the body of Jesus Christ was crucified, in an inscription is attached. In John chapter 19, verse 19 until 20, it is written, Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read the inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city and it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and Greek. The Inri written in three languages. Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Hebrew was the religious language of the Jews at the time. Latin was the official language of the Roman Empire at the time as the ruling party. Meanwhile, Greek was the colloquial language used in various areas of Rome that were influenced by Hellenistic culture, including the Judea region at that time. So, written in three languages was a way to read by as many people as possible at that time. Initially, this writing was met as a ridicule for the Jesus disciples. It is about the criminals who were crucified. In the tradition, if the criminal has guilty, so the public has to know what the guilty is about and written in the cross. Now for Jesus, the guilt was not clear. Why was he crucified? The empire and the clergy were throwing things at each other. So, 
Pontius Pilate wrote like that in three languages. So, with Henry above the cross, Pilate make a bully for the disciples. Like, if the king, if, if Jesus was the king, why he was crucified? Why did the king die such a shame on the cross? How came the king didn't have power to release his self? However, later on, Inri become the word that contain our confession of faith. Jesus of Nazareth is the king. Christ is the king. Don't we also confirm about that? He is the king who brings forgiveness to those who crucified him, brings atonement, salvation from sin, and the king is the identity of Jesus. Now, as Jesus' disciples today, we are the inhabitants of the kingship of God on this earth. Therefore, we should enforce the laws and regulation of the king. King who brings forgiveness, salvation, wisdom, justice, truth, protection, for this world. Now, those are our calling to to live as children of the King. We have all learned a lot about the kingship of our God. Forgiveness, salvation, justice, wisdom, protection, truth. So, it is our duty now to apply it in our daily life. The king's children wouldn't embrace the king, would they? We guard the honor of our king by confessing and doing his will. My kingdom is not from this world, said Jesus before Pilate. Christ came into the world not brought a temporary system of government in this world but the values of life that rule human life. It is about kingship, not a kingdom. The kingship of this world tends to, the, the kingdom on this world tends to fight and sacrifice others. But the kingship of heaven is ready to give itself. The kingdom of this world is full of justification for the powerful, but the kingship of heaven is full of rightness for all people. Therefore, the resignation of the truth is something to be proud of, and the martyr as a consequence. Today, confessing Christ as the king. It means life is ready to be controlled by God's will. And, and it also means that all of us has to develop compassion in this world and state the truth at all costs. Are we ready to confess that Jesus Christ is the King? So let us live in the power and the will of God in our daily life. May God bless us. Amen. Let us confess the faith into which we were baptized according to the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, 
the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the powers of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was sacrificed, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us pray. As the shepherd who cares for the flock, O God, you guide all things through Jesus whom you have exalted over all creation as King. Hear the prayers we offer in his name, for the creation he shares and that you entrust to us. Dear God of love, in this time of sorrow since we lost our beloved Reverend Stephen Suleiman, Please embrace all those who hearts today overflow with grief and such a sense of loss, especially Mrs. Dini and her daughters. Grant them space to express their tears. Hold them close through the coming days. Dear God, we also pray for the churches who struggle due to this pandemic and in all the preparation for the coming Christmas time. May, may your blessing enable your churches to keep proclaiming God's love for others despite their situation and limitation. Dear God, we also pray for our government efforts to cope with the pandemic. May you grant wisdom to our leaders that they can lead this nation to unite it and work together to overcome this pandemic. Dear God, we also pray for families who struggle due to their, their economic, health, or relational situation caused by this pandemic. May you grant strength, love, and humility to cope with their struggle. Look upon your people who rejoice in your justice and mercy, God, and grant that the prayer prayers we make may reveal Christ's reign in our time. We will close our prayer by reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our offerings for the celebrations of life in His place and beyond shall now be received. Let us remember the word of Paul, the Lord Jesus Himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Act twenty thirty five. Like a beggar with a gift in my hand I come like a beggar with a gift in my hand By the hungry I will feed you By the poor I make you rich By the broken I will bend you Tell me which one is which I come like a beggar
like a prisoner to bring you a key. I come like a prisoner to bring you a key. By the hungry I will feed you, by the poor I make you rich, by the broken I will mend you. Tell me which one is which. The need of another is the gift that I bring. The need of another is the gift. That I bring by the hungry, I will feed you. By the poor, I make you rich. By the broken, I will mend you. Tell me which one is which. Take the wine that I bring you and the bread that I break. Take the wine that I bring you and the bread that I break. By the hungry, I will feed you. By the poor, I make you rich. By the broken, I will mend you. Tell me which one is which. Let's pray. God of abundance, we give these offerings of material goods of our commitment to give back to you and to care for your people. Let our giving remind us to see Jesus all around us. Use our offerings of money and our lives for ministry to your purposes. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we will close our worship today, but keep remember 
Go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the fine hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all persons. Honor all creation. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us receive God's blessing. May the love of God, the light of Christ, and the power and communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Go in peace. Amen.